Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial we're going to develop a collectible and scoring system for your game. So I have a scene here, it's nothing too drastic, it's just this little landscape, bit of water, and I have these collectible stars, and all these really are are just objects, which is a star, inside cubes. Now the reason I use cubes is because it's so much easier to use them than any other object, especially when it comes to their triggers. So if you want to put your collectibles inside cubes, that's fine. If not, just, you know, you have to modify it a little bit. We'll make sure you always have the trigger ticked here, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So the idea of what we want to be able to do is collect these stars and display a score on our screen. So if we go to game object, UI, and let's go with text, this will be our scoring text. So let's change it to say score, comma, uh, rather colon, I should say, zero because we're going to start with zero and i'm just going to have it white and i'll make it larger let's say 32 and let's double click it so we can actually focus and i'm going to have it in the top left which is pretty standard or top right and let's have the actual size of the object a little bit larger because it is too small so there we go and now let's set it all the way over there so we should be able to see we just need to move it to there. So now we have score zero, and that will always display on our screen. So let's head back to our stars. And these are what we want to collect. And this can all be done using a C-sharp script. So these stars already have a script attached to them, which is just a rotation script. It just lets them rotate around. It's nothing too drastic. So let's rename our score text, just say score text. And let's right click, create, C sharp script and we'll have this as scoring system. Open it up in Visual Studio and the first thing you're going to want to do is add something to the namespace and I cannot stress how important it is to add this to the namespace because if you don't you won't be able to do this. So underneath using Unity Engine we need to put using Unity Engine dot UI. And I have to spell engine correctly, semicolon. So all that does is allows a script to reference the UI because we're going to do that to change our score on screen. So now what we do is we get rid of void update and void start. And basically what we need to do is declare a couple of variables and they'll become obvious and apparent as we go along. The first one being the text. So public game object and we'll have score text semicolon next is going to be an integer so public int and we'll just have it as the score semicolon and finally i'll just want a little uh, sound effect when we collect a star just so we know something should be happening so public audio source and we'll call this collect sound semicolon so we'll have collect sound basically uh, occur when we collect it, <laughs> as you would expect. So let's start with public. In fact, no, do you know what? We just need to do void. We, we don't need anything else. So void on trigger enter, open close bracket, and it will auto fill it. And we don't need it to be private. Like I said, we can just have it as void. And the first thing we're going to want to do is play the sound. So collect sound dot play. Open close bracket, semicolon. Next, let's change the score. So this is where the fun happens because we need to actually reference that game object where the score is, or rather the text is for the score. So we need to put score text dot get component Spiky brackets, text, open close bracket, dot text, equals, and we're going to put, in quotes, score, colon, space, quote, plus the score, semicolon. Now, this may not always work because there's a couple of different ways to do this. And I'm going to just show you the different ways of how you can collate things 
together. So what we'll do here is just before we change the score, we will have the score plus equals 50 semicolon. So you can see what's happening here. We've changed the score from whatever it is initially to adding 50. After we've done this, we will destroy brackets game object semicolon and save because we don't need it to exist anymore. So head back to Unity. And now all we need to do is create that jingle sound, the ding. So we'll put it on our first person controller. So right click, create empty, drag and drop that ding sound. You don't necessarily have to have this. I've just added this in for a little bit of effect. And rename, uh, collect sound. And now add this script scoring system to the stars. So drag and drop onto there. Now, a little trick you can use is if we select all those game objects, click on add component down here. We, I'm not sure if we can actually do this. You see if we can do this. Let's try scoring system. There we go. So that's a quick way of adding things nice and quickly. And if we have all four selected, we can drag and drop the actual variables to all four instantly. And that's just a cool little thing we can do rather than do one at a time. So now each one will have those. So fingers crossed, we should see something here, but we're going to go a little bit more into this as well. So let's go collect our first star. Oh, schoolboy error. Do you remember I said is trigger? I didn't tick it, did I? So let's select all four stars and tick is trigger. The reason we do that is because we have on trigger enter and all four need to be triggers. I did say that at the start, didn't I, about the trigger. So let's check this out. There we go. So you can see here, each one is worth 50. However, our score didn't change. And I did say we're going to carry on, do something else. Because this is going to be a cool little thing that we can do. We can actually split this out so we have a central system of score. So let's do that. So right click, create. C sharp script and let's have this as um, collect star. So this is going to be a new script that all we'll do is just play that sound to and then update the score. This original scoring system that we have is going to be the one which actually holds the score in it. So let's open up collect star and when it opens it finally opens. I think I maybe have too many scripts open from different things here. Uh, what we need to do is the actual collect star. We can take this void on trigger enter. So we can copy what we've uh, written here and place it into collect star. And really, we don't actually need to change the text. And we don't actually need to have the uh, void on trigger enter. That can just be, in fact, no, we'll keep it void on trigger enter because I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm doing this the wrong way around, but either way, we can split these two out and you'll see what I mean. This is gonna be the best way of doing it. So we've proved that we can change text when we collect something. This is where we add things. So this is where the math comes into play. So public collect sound. Uh, sorry, that should be public audio source collect sound. And that's all we need because this score is going to change. So the scoring system is where we have everything contained. And this is going to be, instead of on trigger enter, this will be void update. Open close bracket. We don't need collect sound play. And we don't need to destroy any game object. We don't need the collect sound here. However, we do need this here. So public into the score now becomes public static int the score. So this scoring system is the central hub, as it were, for, well, the score. And we don't really need this here. So all we're doing is updating our score on the screen. However, we do still need this 
the score. So if we save that there, and if we select all four stars, we can now remove scoring system. So right click, remove component. And the final thing you'll need to do is in the collect star, instead of having the score plus equals 50, we have scoring system dot the score plus equals 50. So I'll just run through what we're doing here. Although our first attempt was just showing that we can change score, we can change text quite easily. This is where we now apply math because we need two scripts, one to control everything and the other to collect. So if we head back into Unity, if we have a new game object, which just contains the scoring system, so drag and drop onto there, and then you just need to add the score text onto there, that will handle everything when it comes to the UI. The collect star will handle everything when it comes to collecting the star, as you would expect. So select all four stars, add component, and let's type in collect star. And then let's add in that collect sound, which is right there. So now we're doing the same thing, but because we've split it and have a central hub for controlling the score, we'll be able to collect each star and it will add to the score each time. So let's check this out. 50, 100, 150, 200. And that's all there is to it. It's mainly about keeping track of the score itself, which is done via that static variable here, because that handles the score. You're just adding to it every time we collect. Now, there's better ways of making the UI look good. You know, there's all kinds of different ways you can do that. But this is just the basics of how you would get that system up and running. So, guys, I hope that has helped. And, yeah, if you want to see any more, please leave a comment below. And thank you very much for watching.